<clears throat> Let me see where she is. <clears throat> Okay, please rise for a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you would, please remain standing, and if you choose, please join me for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you all. Okay, good morning, everybody. Our next public workshop will be here in this room, Tuesday, April 9th at 10.30 a.m. Our next regular meeting will be Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, 10.30 a.m., also in this room. And then next Tuesday, we will have a special uh, joint commissioners meeting with Warren Township Trustees and Trumbull County Board of Metro Parks, or Metro Parks Board, at 1 p.m., also in this room. Madam Clerk? Mr. Cantalamesa? Here. Ms. Frenchko? Here. Mr. Malloy? Here. Item number one is to dispense with reading the minutes of the regular meeting dated March 27th, 2024, and accept and approve the video recordings of the March 27th, 2024 regular meeting as the official meeting minutes. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? No. Item number two is to approve the bills. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number three is to transfer monies. Um, what I'm going to ask for is a bit of patience today because I don't, as you are both aware, uh, this, the clerk refused to prepare the meeting file back up um, folder and I had it was just extremely difficult to go through these so I'd like an opportunity to find these things here and as it relates to these items that are um, financial I would like moving forward for transparency purposes that the explanation also be included on our agenda that would be better for transparency for everyone to well, for transparency we discussed them at an open meeting yesterday there wasn't any discussion of the reasons for them. And yes, there was. There's yes, there was. Every single one. Yes, one. Okay. You can't get more transparency than at an open meeting. Also, point of note um, yesterday I was able to review commissioner minutes from seven counties around us. Most of their most of their agendas that they have in regards to the same exact questions, same exact stuff that we do are one line. Many of them don't include any figures. Many of them um, the background is done in research on their own. And when it comes to the agenda and the minutes themselves, we are the Cadillac of all minutes keeping in Northeast Ohio. And I think we're, we're actually writing way too much stuff and our meetings would be more efficient if we did things the way the other seven counties around us did it. Okay, so where, where are, where are these ones? If I check out it, what date were these ones sent? for numbers three through, because there's all this talk that the, they're so easy to find and I'd just like to find them here. We found them yesterday by asking the, the uh, auditor directly. The explanations are compiled and sent in an email on Mondays after uh, senior accountant and I, senior accountant Christy Sestarek and I have had a chance to review them. 
each of the transfers is sent to, is sent as an agenda item last week. Just as an explanation, each of you has each of you also has access to Munis, where those tra those transfer explanations are found. You are perfectly able, well, perfectly allowed. I don't know if you're competent or not, but you're perfectly allowed to go and have access to those explanations. We compile those explanations and review them with you as a courtesy. Okay, so we're, we're you said that yours come in on Mondays or? No, the agenda items are, are done as earlier in the week as normal. We do, we review the explanations from Eunice and then re and then send them out after we she and I have reviewed them just in case there's questions or things like that. Remember, those transfers are not necessarily put on by Where are they coming from if I'm checking my emails to try to find them. Christy Sistari. Always you know, yes. sometimes if you and we know that we and we always send a read receipt, but we don't always get one back. We always send we always request one, but we don't always I get don't, one back. I don't respond to okay, Christy. Yeah. So Sistari. Monday. Yeah. They were sent Monday after we review them as early as possible on Monday. She and I get together and we send them out as early as possible. Okay. And then I review them with the commissioners on Tuesdays at a meeting to all that of you us choose Monday not to attend. 1242 p.m. Sent to all of us. Uh... 1243 explanations for 4-3. So this is coming in regular email explanations for 4-3, but we don't have these made until the day before. So it, it, things filter in. Um, but they submitted the agenda. Answering the in, we do it on a regular basis at the same time. And once again, these are courtesies. You have access to these explanations our, in units. That's right. Our, ag our agenda items filter in over the course of weeks. Okay, okay. so let me look at this one. <clears throat> okay, wait, I don't have it on here. It didn't... This this email didn't have it. Wait, did it? It says explanations. Oh yeah. The explanation is right next to it. The right column is the explanation for all of them. And you could have done this yesterday, like we did during a workshop or last night when you were here working, or this morning, not in the middle of the meeting that we're having. Checking on Thursday. There are so many agenda items. It doesn't have any agenda. It's a very light agenda. This is one of the lightest agendas we've had in the last year and a half. Right. Right. I have a motion for item number three. Wait, wait, wait. I'm oh, sorry. Number three is to pay off net. Okay. Make a motion to approve the transfers as listed. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchco. Yes. Item number four is to approve additional appropriations. Uh, make a motion to approve the appropriations as listed. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchco. Yes. Item number five is to approve transfer of appropriations. A motion to approve the transfers as listed. Second that motion. Okay. Mr. Cantalamesa. Wait, please. Okay. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number six is to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from American Rescue, Rescue Plan Act funds, Johnston Township Ambulance. And commissioners, if you'd look toward the bottom, a one-time grant to Johnston Township in the amount of $153,000 to be used for the purchase of an ambulance for use by the Johnston Township Fire Department. Where where did this one come in? I, I didn't. Where did the where did this one come in in my email is what I'm is the question from Tanya Rogers. Yeah. Okay, that's not well. They're supposed to come in with. 
saying that they're part of is, is are these ones coming in filtered via email saying that they're an agenda item or is these are emails from tonya rogers with the language it's on your email no, you can I read it there that she approved it and with the language when they come to be put on the agenda there's a new system in place where they're supposed to be uploaded the language where is this one i don't think tonya rogers has to follow the procedures that the no, county employees have to have but the whoever is, is an attorney this is our attorney that drew it up okay so that's what i'm saying did they come in from mr masaki or where was it it was forwarded? By, it was forwarded uh by martha yes so we we when we started excuse me i'm talking uh martha yoder trumbull county auditor you could look it up with the, while you're talking it's exactly as it's okay. as it is. So is it coming from from it, you or what date? Was it's this one? I sent it directly. Make sure you got to get some some video. I will. Three years. Remember to be honest. If I cc because these are different types of agenda items, they're pretty much the same thing. So you get sure. them from Tanya Rogers as well. I review them to make sure that they ha if there's any corrections that need to be made, they're done, and then I send to lisa any correction the final do it so i will be glad to see see you on that we're not submitting those because they are very different there's two there's the resolution and then there's a resolution for the agreement as well as the agreement and we made the decision because this is a temporary situation that it was just easier to continue to do it as we had been doing it well i don't I'm if all the commissioners would like me to submit them through the portal i will be glad to do that but it, it, but that would be that would be if yeah. if a majority would like me to do it, I will do it. I don't think you need. We it. we Thank see you. it in our email. It's, it's the same okay, thing. So I'm um, sorry, Martha. Where where was it? What day did you send? I'm looking. I sent it. I just said that I sent it to Lisa. The actual agenda item gets sent to all of you from Tanya Rogers. Right. You have that. Okay, so That's why I was only sending them okay, to Lisa. So Search so with Tanya, and we'll see it. Searching for something from that didn't yeah. exist from. Someone okay, so I have to look for Tanya. Okay, so the process has been up until the portal was started. The okay. process had actually been Mr. Misaki doing it, Mr. Misaki has been okay, well, gone. So I began to just review the agenda, review the resolutions, create the resolution for the agreement, and send those over to Lisa directly. However, if Stop talking now, Martha, because I'm trying to find this. I, I'm really trying to. Do I this. know you have a hard time concentrating. Okay. So um, anyway, well, if wait. the majority of the board would like me to do it differently, I will. Let's please move on. Yeah, let's. So. Okay, item number okay, six. Okay, so hang on a second. Wait, what did you say? I said she's that, an ignorant little sow. All right, that's yeah. yeah, and you're an ignorant okay. little commissioner for okay. saying that. So Tanya, like that from the the meeting here. That's a, that's totally unprofessional no, it, and uncalled for. Of me is not correct. I'm the only commissioner that she decides to be nasty to. You're, because okay. you're nasty to unprepared her. commissioner. We're yeah, going over the agenda. We job. Okay, so so these ones weren't were not sent over to us through the portal or through email. They were sent to Lisa. We didn't get them. You just told me now to research my emails from Tanya Rogers, and I just I might have just located it. Thank you for that explanation because I didn't have that available um, to me yesterday. Okay, so let me and go for back. the last. Year and a half, you didn't know that Tony Rogers okay. sent the emails this way. Okay. Welcome to 2024. Let's okay. Wait a second. I'm almost done. So is this going to be this one and the next item? Yeah, the agreement portion as well. Commissioner, we're not going to play this okay. game. Let's it's let's not a call game. the roll. We get the two votes and move on. We need a motion for item I, six. I'm, I made a motion to we'll second it. Mr. Cantola Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchco. <clears throat> yes. Item number seven is to enter into an agreement between the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners and Johnston Township as approved by ARPA Legal Counsel for the township to provide funds required to enable the township to purchase a new ambulance and other necessary equipment for use by the Johnston Township Fire Department, which is essential to continue the provision of safety services, especially with the increase of the volume of calls since the COVID-19 pandemic is fully described in Exhibit A. Well, you're looking at that. And the Board of Trumbull County next... Commissioners allocates the sum of $153,000 to the township. So the next one would be the same. It was, it was, it went through. Not on the next one. We're on number seven, Commissioner. I'm trying to work ahead. Well, you can try to work ahead on your own. We're, we're following an agenda here. 
Not your agenda. We're following the agenda for the Board of Commissioners. Mm -hmm. Item number seven, then. Do we have a motion? Make a motion to approve. I'll second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Motion passes, number eight. Hey, and, no. and Commissioner, real quick, we do have somebody here from Johnson no, Township. No, we don't just, that's not what you do, Denny. Well, if you're going to delay and wait, we're not going to wait all day for your vote. We're going to move on. Wait a moment to, for me to vote. You don't just get to say, uh, you, you, that's improper. If you want to risk that. What What is the official time frame okay. in Robert's Rules of Order? Look it up. You're the, the wait for you. The you're the president of the board. I'll yeah. give you a moment to look that up. Go ahead. I'm not going to waste my time with that or the taxpayers' time. Uh, sorry, can you call? Uh, he just completely confused everything. Can you please call the more? For item seven, I'm just waiting for your vote. For item seven? Yes, for the agreement. Um, That was for which one? For the agreement? Commissioner, are you, are you, do you need we a break? Do we need to get medical treatment up here or something? Are you paying attention to what we're doing here? You just read it. You just looked it up. We just went through it. You're uh, if, if there's a medical issue here, we can get medics up here. Apparently, you're not you're not comprehending what we we're doing here in this meeting. Same thing we've been doing for years since you got elected. Somebody go go ahead again without any rude outbursts. I'm asking. Are you able to follow along? Okay, so Ms. Frenchko, your vote for item seven. Item seven related to Johnston Township, the ambulance, yes. the agreement. Yes. Item number eight is to adopt a resolution. Congratulations, Chief. Authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from American Rescue Plan Act funds. And this is for Warren Civic Music Musical Association. And commissioners, if you would go to the next page. This is for a one-time grant to the Warren Civic Music Association in the amount of $15,000 to be used for its marketing campaign for the 2024-2025 concert season. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. And then item number nine goes along with that to enter into an agreement between the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners and Warren Civic Music Association, as approved by ARPA Legal Counsel, to provide funds for the marketing campaign for the 2024-2025 concert season. And the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners allocates a sum of $15,000 to the Warren Civic Music Association. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. On, on this one, what would be the best way to find it? Because when the agenda items come in, they come in with numbers between 103 and 154, which don't correspond to this. Um, do you have a suggestion in finding this particular item? Go to your search, search bar and search Warren Civic Music. And, oh, and, and no, I, I, already, I already did that one. I'm sorry. I, I I might have jumped ahead to the bridge to the other ones because it was really confusing since the um, clerk's refusing to help. I'm not refusing to help. Item number 10 yeah, is to concur with the Trumbull County engineer to close the bridges listed. Hayes, okay. Hayes Orangeville Road at right. ORV number two located in Orangeville Village. Closing date is Monday, April 8th, 2024 through Friday, May 3rd, 2024. Where can, where can this one be found, Lisa? We had the deputy engineer on the phone yesterday who explained all of his items in detail. I'm looking for the paperwork for it. Where is it? If the agenda items were all emailed to me, can I please know where to look? GOC agenda items. Can it's you gonna put say county B engineer in? BOC. You put C Gerber in. Okay, I am. I'm doing BOC agenda items. So what I'm seeing here, a lot of them say Trumbull County number 145, 148, 143, 139, um, one, uh, which one is it? 137, I probably started the most recent ones going back two, three, four months ago. Isn't going to help you. 
Uh, this isn't two or three months ago, but there's still dozens of them. And I don't know which one it is because they don't correspond to the numbers on the agenda. Do you want to, does anyone know which one it is or should I just start looking? Try putting Cyn Cynthia speaker in. Who? Cynthia? Yes. C Y. I believe she sent this to me. C I or C Y. C Y N T H I A. Uh huh. Speaker. Commissioner, this speaker. game you're playing with everybody <laughs> isn't being isn't being bought by anybody. Nobody is feeling sympathetic. It's a delay tactic game. No. It's waste of tax. It's a waste of time, and it's a it's a charade. It, it is. It is. It is a bad one. It's a so poor one. Today, it's Cynthia Ski speaker for this one. You believe Hayes Orangeville. Oh, if, if you knew that, I would just wish you could have just printed it because I, I'm just seeing it now. That was, I wouldn't, I don't even know who Cynthia Speaker is, but thank you for pointing that out because now I can. Yes, I believe she's taking over for another staff member there. That's all. Okay, I'm Cynthia Speaker. Deal. Bridge closed. Is there a okay. motion right. to approve? Second. Mr. Cantola Mesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. And then on these ones, where will I find these ones, Lisa, since I... Steve Gerberi. So search Steve. Okay. Yeah, these are right-of-way permits that you've never known, and none of us have ever voted no on on any things. They don't even have to be on the agenda, technically, but they are. Okay. You don't need to, you don't need to waste any taxpayer money on this. Okay. These so are routine things that the engineer approved already. Okay. And if you want right. to dispute it, go to the I'm engineer and dispute I'm, it. I'm not disputing. I'm trying to find it. So which one, where would I, I got Steve Gerberi's up and it looks like there, last week there was one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's a Chris Lim Smith too. Um, which one is it? Because these are numbered 137, 40, the 143. The ones that say right of way permits. It doesn't That's say that in the in the thing it just says trumbull county number. search of right-of-way permits in your search bar okay. Mr. President, we are using meetings as workshops right. here okay. unfortunately right. and this is this has to stop so item number 11 right is to concur permit. with the county engineer to grant the right-of-way permit stop. it doesn't it. show up when you look up under a right-of-way permit it doesn't show up okay so you guys you're can just concurring see. with the county engineer it They're doesn't, already it doesn't matter look i just tried what you told me to do denny and it doesn't show up and i just had steve gerberry which one was it? if you would like to attend a computer class i will pay for it out of my own pocket it would still call tctc adult education and you could take a computer class and then you could teach us how to do it after you figure it out. No, it's just it, nothing shows up that way because it, it's clear that you were not correct. So I'm evidently no, Lisa was. Correct. No, I'm okay, talking about Lisa. No, Lisa, I'm, I have them up. Which one is it? There's four of them. Lisa, look, look at the computer screen. Look up I'm there. I'm doing this for look this meeting. Look up there. You can look up there. I am going to have to adjourn the meeting. Please tell me, please tell me which one it is. There's there's a proof there's number 145, 145, 143, 140. Do you want me to just start going through them or, or how would you do it? Which one is it, Lisa? Just stop. <laughs> really, I, I'm to trying concur to occur with the Trumbull County engineer. Lisa, this is the first time you looked at your email in the whole, last week. You haven't checked your email in a, in a week? Our agenda wasn't prepared until recently. It's not enough time. The, the, and the one county engineer submitted his agenda item before last Thursday. Yeah, they were submitted on time. Yes, but I don't have that in order to correspond to see which ones are on our agenda, which ones are not. We, we need to hold part. your hand to walk you to the agenda item. You can't pair two things up when there's only four. Okay, it's not. It's it's actually, how many pages is this? One about 10 pages of the agenda and 25 items so so i'm just saying which one is it how is there a way that i that i can see the entire subject line over here is this the right way okay here i just found it in about three seconds march 28th at 10 44 it came over agenda item number 141 it says 141? Yep, you go right from okay. 141 and 147. They all came over in a row. 146, 136, 137, 142, 141, 144. They all came within five minutes of each other. 
And they're all in your email okay. from Steve Gerber. So I see 102, 103. Hey, open them. 140. I don't see the 144. You said it's 140. Is this for 141. real? 141. This is. Well, 141 is on the agenda item, and that's clearly not. 141 what was the top one that we just did. Go to the next. Go to the next okay, one. Okay, hang on. I'm on this one now. This is Meadville. Wait. Permit. Commissioners. Hang on a second. I'm looking. These are right of way permits. Okay. Right. And they're, they're, and, and, yep. Okay. Here's Meadville. Go to 137, Commissioner, and you'll see it for this one here. Meadville's number, number 11 is 137. Uh, number 137. Yes. Okay. I see 137. Open it up. And there you go. Voila. Right away permit. Steve Gerberry. Oh, we don't have a prosecutor's opinion. Not needed. I'm sorry. I'm don't have a prosecutor's opinion you're talking about not now. Not needed. Let's turn the engineer in <laughs> I'm looking because at he didn't get a prosecutor's opinion. Required. Okay. This says, That's enough. This, let's, one's, let's hang on. on, this one says Dominion. This is the, this is probably it. Dominion <clears throat> for the Tibbetts Wick. Okay, that's one of them. Is it the ratings ploy to get your ratings no, back up or I'm, something? No. You I'm, lost people after the election, and now it's you're doing any straw you can do to get ratings. Let's okay, do well, a blooper what's show. The, the next one. Because oh. if I'm looking at somebody moving, I've, I've, I've made a motion to approve. Is there a second? A second. Looking at the agenda. Hold on. For Cancel no. the Mesa. Yes. Looking Mr. At the Malloy. Yeah. Enough. Enough. See, I'm trying Ms. French, to find them. What is your vote for these? Um, I would like an opportunity. I just gave you 137. You just pulled it up. It's right in front of your eyes. That Read was, it. Okay. Hang on, Denny. It starts are, with are Dominion. That's only one. Okay. So where are the other three? Go to the next one. There's there's a whole bunch of them on there. Where? Open the files. There's three files attached. 140. No, in the side 137. That was only one. So we're so, so that we're not one. gonna we're not playing. So this is this game. 145. This is... I go to item 12. Yes, yes. Okay, this is 145, and it's a item bridge. number 12 is to concur with the county engineer to grant the special annual supplier fleet permits requested by the companies listed. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Um, point of order. Malloy. Point of order. Yes. You didn't call the roll for everyone on the I tried item. several times. On 11? Yep, you cut her off when she got to your, okay, your thing. Zero. Okay, your your vote for item 12, Ms. Frenchko? Um, I would like an opportunity to look at the remaining three. Can you tell me, since you were the one who put the agenda together, which I, which numbers they are so that I can look at them really quickly? If you told me the numbers. I just gave them either all in a row. The, all of those emails in a row from Steve Gerberry. One, Don't move your cursor. Okay. Stay in a row with Steve Gerberry emails and open them all and you'll see the attachments. Okay. I am. This one's a right away permit. Fourth grade level email. Hyde Schaefer. Okay, I have Hyde Schaefer. The other one, I went the other direction. Okay, so just because you found it, now you're putting check marks next to it because you found it. No, because I read that. Okay. You're just rubber stamping. You didn't even open it and read it. Okay, so which one is? And then it jumps to 122. So it goes from 122 to 137. They're not in order of numbers, but the, or the emails are all in order from the engineer's office. Okay. They all came over one after another. Yeah, they came over separately. Right. But in order. Uh, or separately, but engineer, 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 engineer. Fowler. I don't think this is the... Commissioner, item, and item 12, your vote. Hang on. I, there's one more left I'd like to verify. You said it's right in order. So it should be... The next one down is declined. Um, this one says 146. Is this it? This is the legal notice for pavement marking. Which one's that? That's not. Two votes, yay. Motion passes. Item number 12 or 13, please. Item number 13 is to authorize the Trumbull County engineer to revise the legal weight limit on the highway structures listed and to express as coded truck type slash weight limit in tons. Uh, motion to approve. 
You second the motion. Lisa, which one is the pavement marking one? The pavement marking is which item number? 15. Item number 15. That would be really helpful if these were forwarded to us with, if you could at least forward them to us with the actual number of the corresponding agenda. No need to do that, Lisa. When I open no it, I can attach it to where it needs to go myself. That's can I? I'm asking opinion. her to, um, um, that's just basic. Okay, so that's just basic that's doing your job and not making a hundred thousand dollars to do it, making that's less to do her job in units. The only one who doesn't have access to a, a secretary. You have access to everything. You, you get all the information in your email, no the same as we do. You're the one with the master's degree up here out of the three of us, out of the four of us. But you can't match numbers from your email to the agenda. Okay, item number 13. I'm going to call. Ever. Um, you're, you're Mr. Cantula Mesa. Allow a woman to have the equal Please. opportunity to have access Please. to staff. Let's stop with you're, the charades and the games. Stop Let's because stop I'm with about the game. to file something. Mr. Cantula Mesa for item 13. No, hey, yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchka. Uh, I'm sorry. Where, where were you to concur with the Trumbo County engineer? Did, no, the, I'm on to well, the uh, next page again for ever again for everyone out there. We have a workshop where we discuss all these details. So this is not new that we are completely transparent. Mitz Frenchko chooses not to come to those workshops. The county engineers, deputy engineer personally reviewed all this with us via the phone. I heard him. All of them. Oh, you heard him. So why are you? So you heard him. So what are you doing? I still look at I still look. Why at weren't them. you co correlating the numbers then then? It, do you see how long it's taking? You're going to wait for the them? meeting? We don't get the, they're not correlated. There's no number that's attached. It says 143, 147. And so you're going to wait till the meeting to do that it's instead not of doing it job, in the workshop. It, it, that should be the job of staff, of clerical staff, to make sure that they're numbered appropriately. I don't remember it's seeing that. Opinion. I don't remember seeing that in a job description. This is numbered appropriately. The, the, the the commissioners before me, Polifka, Fuda, didn't even have emails. Everything was done. For them, they were handed things. They're, they were given everything physically. I'm asking to be true. treated equally. They they visited. You want to go back to those days? And they made phone calls. I'm asking to be treated equally. All I'm asking. They made phone calls to department heads. Yeah. They called the clerk. They That's came right. in and talked to the clerk. Politically, you come in five minutes before the meeting and unprepared. An, didn't even have an email and, and open his own me email and he didn't even. Mission, we're not going to live in the past. We're moving forward here in Trumbull County with this board. Never opened his email. I, I don't want to go back to the past. Do you? Um. Okay, so I'm just trying to, I'm not going to argue. I'm trying to find the last one for height, for heist equipment before I, which, should I look under height? Ray, is this article going to be on the funny pages on the back page? Yeah, I mean, can you, can you make a request there? Height. It's not, it'd be easy if you could search and see it under heist or something like that, but there's no, there's no easy way to find these quickly when you're trying to review. I tried looking under the name of the business that doesn't show up. It is so tough being a commissioner, isn't it? What was that? It's so tough for actually to find the information that's sent to you. Item 13. Okay, where, no, I'm asking, where is the final one? How can I find this? You said Steve Gerberry. Final one? What are you, are you I'm on looking, 12 still? Yes. We're on 13. We just voted on 13. 12's done. I didn't get to see that one. Okay. So where's the Commissioner, seriously? I mean, do you need to take a break? Do we, should we call have a pause here? Yes. Are you go get a drink of water. You want to yeah. do that? I'd like to take a break so I can work with the clerk and go over these and be able to no, I mean, I mean a, a, a break for you to collect your senses here with what we're doing. I'd like to I'd like to make a motion for a person of personal privilege to have a recess or uh, a recess and work with the clerk to go over the rest of the agenda items so, so I can visualize. She's not going to do your job so for you. She doesn't get paid commissioner salary to do that. She doesn't have a master's degree. This is something that, that you can handle. I'm sure you're fully competent with this. I cannot tell by looking at them, which ones they are, but I would like an opportunity to have a break to go over them. No, with we had that. We had all week to do it. We had a workshop yesterday. You said you listened to the workshop. You were here last night. Right. You could have done it then. We're not going to do it now at the I, taxpayer's I, expense. I can't figure that. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't figure this out. I'm sorry. You can insult me all you want, but it's really difficult to figure. You can't out. figure out what the county engineer sent over. Is it too complicated? Talk okay. Instead of talking, why don't we just get to work here? Here's Steve Gerber. Did this one come from I Steve? Mean, Hang on. Did this one come from Steve, Lisa, or did this under Gary Schaefer? Schaefer. Okay. Gary. You think this one came from Gary? S H. 
Yes, he went over this at the workshop yesterday also. Gary Schaefer. Um, the first one that came up from him, submitted by Gary. So I wouldn't have known which came from whom. Wait, so is this the, uh, well, the look legal? Well, for the one that says legal weight limit in it. Well, I found it. I, I Once I opened it up, it was there, but you can't search by topics or titles, which makes it complicated. Okay, I found it. Thank you. Okay, so your vote Please for roll. item 13 uh -huh, is yes. Because okay. you checked it and you found it. Now you'll vote without even opening it and reading it. Uh, it's okay. You can see you rubber stamped it. You can see that it's uh, item fourteen. You can please see that it's open. Item number fourteen is to concur with the county engineer That's and receive true. resolutions see, number twenty three through. I'm opening everything. Twenty three dash one twenty five and number twenty three dash one twenty six, passed by the Weathersfield Township trustees on September twelfth, twenty twenty three. Requesting the Weathersfield Township Number 15 Bridge be renamed the Disabled American Veterans Bridge in honor of service members with disabilities who have faithfully served our country, and the Weathersfield Township Number 21 Bridge be renamed the Weathersfield Township First Responders and Veterans Bridge to honor Weathersfield Township's dedicated safety forces and selfless veterans, and to set up a public hearing for the consideration of the bridge name changes. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 15 is to authorize the Board of Trumbull County Commissioner's Clerk to advertise for sealed bids for a proposal for the year 2024 road pavement marking program. Go ahead, read, read on, please. The project includes applying one one hundred ninety nine point nine six seven miles of center line and two hundred sixty one point six five six miles of edge line pavement markings on seventy one county roads. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number 16 is to reject the only bid received on February 9th, 2024. Mm -hmm. For the TRU guardrail fiscal year 2025 project, which exceeded the 20% of the engineer's estimate, the only bid received was submitted by Lake Erie Construction Company in the amount of $381,575 and acknowledged receipt of the new proposal for the TRU guardrail fiscal year 2025 project for the upgrade of guardrail and end terminals and installation of new guardrail on various routes throughout Trumbull County, and to authorize the clerk of the Board of Commissioners to re-advertise for sealed bids for the TRU guardrail fiscal year 2025 project. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. And where where is this next one found? I, I couldn't. Because I don't know who that would have come from. If I search agenda planning commission items, it was either so sent by. It says for the action for the request of the planning. Well, so, so what do you? How will I locate this, Lisa? You could look under Emily Moran, Julie. Emily, Green. is it under? Emily Moran. No, when you want to proceed. Okay, hang on. Emily Moran. The one. Hold on. See, I heard her talking about that. But, you know, the things come from so many different people. Okay. And then, who, okay. Are we ready? We're yes. Ready. Item number 17, to amend the journal action dated March 6, 2024, authorizing the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners to enter into a contract agreement with A&N Restaurant Equipment and Supplies for the Howland Scope Center facility. Amendment is necessary to change the name of the vendor from A&N Restaurant Equipment and Supplies to W.C. Zobel Company doing business as A&N Restaurant Equipment and Supplies. 
The name change is necessary to match the W-9 and corresponding contract documents. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 18 is to receive um, and place this one. Todd Littell. So I'm going to look up Todd. He sent it over himself. Yes. T-O-D. Well, you never know who's sending if it's their assistant. No, I don't see anything. Okay, Lynn wait. Wallace. Wait. Christina Stein. I got something four three. It's and Todd popped up. I see Ohio deferred compensation. Is this it? No, that's just a whole agenda. Okay. No, that didn't show up under Todd. Where how would I did this one come up? Who else would it be under? Well, I don't have my computer in front of me here. But he was here in person yesterday and discussed this item. I heard him. I just would like to see. For for what reason, I guess, would you like to see? Entertain us. Can I read the item? I'm looking at agenda. Would it be under, I'm, I'm assuming it would be under agenda, but there's, you know, dozens right here. Between now and last week, there there are dozens. So Daniel, um, Lisa, Diane, some of them have seven attachments. Let me see. Martha, see these ones that say T Trumbull County no reply. It doesn't say who they're. Um, did it come over that way under the Trumbull County no reply portion? Commissioner, you remember, this, this did is it to come receive the annual report? I'm just asking, did it come did it come under the I don't have my system? computer in front of me to look and see how it came over. You remember it other people's names, so I'm just wondering if you did it come over what how else would it be because I'm searching under agenda and I don't see it. All right, commissioner. What? Since the taxpayers do pay me $100,000 also, okay. I'll help you. March 28th at 12:54 p.m. from Todd Latell. March 28th, okay. Number 139, annual report to the Trumbull County Archives, two attachments to it, addressed to, oh, Nikki Frenchko, Dennis March Malloy, and Marl, Kendall Mesa. What, where is it March 28th at what time? 1254 p.m. Okay, the time. Who's it from? So Todd Littell. Can you, okay. Says Trumbull County, no reply, Todd Littell. Oh, Trumbull County, no reply. Okay. That's what I was asking if it was under that. Wait, please move on. Hang on. A Holy second. cow, isn't that amazing how it just pops up like that? Took a, took a while. Go ahead. And you sure can. Item number 18 is to receive and place on file the 2023 annual report for the Trumbull County Records Center and Archives, a division of the Trumbull County Recorder, as submitted by Todd Littell, Trumbull County Recorder, and Lynn Wallace-Smith, Records Center Director. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 19 is to approve okay, the dispatch where, service. Where, is, where would I find this one? Did this come under BOC or did it come under the agenda item? No reply one. Commissioner, we're not going to go through every item here and do your job for you. It's actually what the clerk should be helping ahead of the meeting, but um, because where was this approved by? Okay. So if I look under one, one, maybe. I'm sure you're familiar with how to spell 911. It's right here. Did you change your name? March 28th at 1.28 p.m. They're all going to come through with a Trumbull County no reply through the new portal. 
Then yeah, you have... but you don't know who they're. You don't know who it's from. Well, there's only it, <laughs> if it came from if it came from nine one one. I'm sure it didn't come from Mr. Gargano or or no, from Ray Smith. I'm sure it came from one of the two people that would send an email nine one one. Bond was her name. Did she have a name change? Okay. Does, does that make does that well, make a matter of anything? It does matter because you're looking if you're accustomed to seeing. No, the, it's the other Tacy, not that Tacy. It's the other Tacy. Let's please move no, on. No, I just read this. Please. To approve uh, item number 19, to approve the dispatch service contract between the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners and the City of Girard, wherein the Trumbull County 911 Dispatch Center will serve as the dispatch center for the City of Girard Fire Department, and to authorize Tacey McDonough, Director of Trumbull County 911 Dispatch Center, to execute said agreement. The contract is for the period commencing April 10th, 2024 through December 31st, 2024 for an amount of $15,085 per year to be paid in quarterly installments of $3,771.25. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. And I tried to find this specifically and I couldn't. Um, would it be the same portal do i look who, how can i find that are you talking about item 19 or item 20. 20 yes that that would be from um alexander devin genzi bush um Was it Tuesday? Workshop draft? No. Last week. There's so many from her. Wait. Three twenty eight. Okay. So this is is this the entire report? Is it is it longer than this? Is it longer than you this? heard her say yesterday if you listen to the meeting that the thing is as thick as a phone book? She had it with her yesterday where you could have looked at it. It's it's very, very detailed and very, very long. Read number 20, please. Um, We're jumping ahead here. Can that be uploaded, please? No, it can't. It's going to look at all that pages. right now. It's a book. No, you said that it's it's only a few pages. Is it thicker than this? Is it yesterday? I believe in the meeting, he said that you said that it was as thick as a book. It's right there. Thank you. Is, is it as thick as the sound? There's a lot of course of stuff. There's a lot of course of background stuff. And some of it may be coming down the road, may have been mixed in with this. So she, right. I, I heard her say it was very thick also, and it was being placed on hold in the commissioner's office. Why are right we here. asking these questions on meeting day? I don't understand. This is how we just read. It was provided to you. And it's not as thick as the phone book. Like it's said. right there. I'm just asking you. He and I'm giving you the answer. You it's said right you heard there. it too. Thank you. The stuff they had yesterday with all the Can courses. Please. No, she wasn't dishonest. This thick. part of it is this. So someone is, whoever said it was thick as a phone book is, and, and this is all it is. Okay. Can I read item 20? Yes. Item number 20. On or about May 1st, 2024, the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners intends to enter into a general liability insurance contract with Corsa. County Risk Sharing Authority, thereby entering into a joint self-insurance pool to provide for the payment of judgments, settlement of claims, expense loss and damage that arises, or is claimed to have risen from any act or omission of the political subdivision of any of its employees in connection with a government or propriety function and to indemnify or hold harmless the subdivision's employees against such loss or damage. 
Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchkow? Yes. So I'm um, is this coming over from Gary? This next one? Gary Newbrow? Yes, yeah, sanitary. Item number 21. Okay. I'm trying to find it. Um okay, well you look you look while I oh, read. I'm, I'm yeah, you can item number first. 21. No, you can read it so I can't public, you read so the public knows would follow along also. It's not it's not under who submitted it. Who submitted this one because when Gary knew probably he's raising his hand. You sent it in under the portal thing? No, he cannot oh because God. he does not have 365 yet. So it came under the BOC. So look up BOC, okay? That's what I mean. It's it's not as straightforward. Thank you for telling me that now. BOC we didn't just tell you now. Okay. Item number 21. Wait a second. I'm sorry, but I, I need to look it up while she reads the I, two separate things. Commissioner, we have department heads here that are, right. we're taking need up to get their back time. To work. Item now, wait a moment. I'm asking for a point of personal privilege in order to review this. BOC agenda items because it uh last week gary gary newbrow okay Is this the one state road okay Item number 21 is to adopt a resolution declaring the necessity of constructing the State Road Water Regionalization Project number 2-W-23 for the Trumbull County Combined Sewer District located in Champion and Southington Townships. And within the note, Wednesday, May 1st, 2024 at 7 p.m. is hereby fixed as the time in the Champion High School Auditorium as the place for hearing of objections to or acceptance of project number 2-W-23. Motion approved. Second the motion. Um, Commissioner Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Mr. Frenchkow. Yes. Ms. Frenchkow. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 22 is to approve. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Where is this? Who sent these ones over? It's Job and Family Services, Mr. Gargano. Gar did Gargano send Or it? Chelsea Costello. Those Chelsea, are the only under... two people that send things over generally. Chelsea Costello. Okay. To approve. Oh, the hang on a moment. Sure, please. Right there. You can see him. Boom. Two down from where you are. Chelsea Costello, there are two. Are there two different agenda items? Well, the other is for 23, 24, 25. Okay. I don't, number one. So this is number one, two, and three. I'm assuming that's the first one. I don't know. Okay, that's not it. Oops. Okay. This one is the... That's the executive this session. Okay. This one is okay. Um, opening up the new hires. That, that's just basically the. Those are the ten candidates. candidates. There should be. Hey, read it, please. Oh, hold on a moment. I want to. Item number 22 is to approve the personnel action for the employment of a total of 10 candidates for the Trumbull County Department of Job and Family Services. The candidates would begin employment Monday, April 22nd, 2024, receiving full benefits and will serve a nine month probationary period for the Department of Job and Family Services. Okay. I'd like to make a motion for a point of privilege to just read these for a moment just about two minutes you got 30 seconds there's a motion tied for lack of a second there, there's no second that motion. corresponding 
which which candidate is the individual that's hired before they were coming over so that you can correspond them to the hiree? Which ones are they on the candidate list? Because it doesn't say it. Is Gargano in here? John Gargano, JFS commissioner. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, look okay, at this. Okay, I do not have the information. Let me say something. Uh, all right, you've spoken enough here. No, he hasn't. I'm asking because I've been asking for this for a while since this person has taken over. I believe we have not been receiving things the way we, we were before because I would look at them and I do not see based on the candidate numbers which one corresponds to the people. Who are on the well, I don't think you want to show the whole rubric scores up here for the world to see and judge. And he, he, Actually, that's his job. I, I just want to know which ones they are that that we're hiring. Yeah, which ones? The one through on ten, the top candidates. They're the ones that scored. The rubric scores the fifty points. The, they go from thirty nine to thirty two. This, this facade of acting like we're um, hyper attentive to every detail here, when in fact it's just actually spinning everybody's wheels yeah. and creating more busy work for people, has to stop. It has to stop. Everybody sees it. A facade of actually it, reviewing things that you have the information. No, it's not, it you're reviewing say. them on meeting day. If you have a question, call the clerk beforehand. I have been. I asked the clerk last week to print out the. Print out these portions. That As these come in, you can print them when you get them. Right. You don't have to do it today. Just print them. It's going on the agenda until the agenda is done. And it, They're agenda you items. Listen to, you listen okay. to They're the listed workshop. They're listed as agenda items. They come in every day. They the do. They come items. in every day. So as Check you your email every day and print them. There are dozens as of you them. Get them, print them with different numbers. As, as you get them, print them. I You're do the print them for my clerk. meeting folder. For your meeting folder. Yes, for the meeting folder for the office. I would like to review that. Let me. Well, re you have them to review virtually. They're sent to you. So why are we going to. Meeting folder for the office, but you are completely refusing to let me review that or see it. I will. <laughs> there, there, you get them virtually. If you come in anytime during normal business hours, Commissioner Frenchko, and you want to see it, she will allow you to see it. Okay, well, then I will be. And if you want to make copies, make Go copies. With a GoPro, and I will I will review them all. Last time she walked away and refused to allow okay. me to see it. So uh, if that's what you're saying. I'm not going to interrupt her. You're getting via email. You act like and things are being difficult. hidden from you. Being difficult, Ms. Frenchko. You completely no, I am not. To print you're asking her to do your job that you're getting paid big money for. You're asking a... a, a Someone lower, way lower on the spectrum to do your work for you. It doesn't appear that we need a clerk at this point anymore because it doesn't appear we need a commissioner at this point if, if the clerk's doing your job. Everything is coming in right now via a computer system where the clerk no longer even has to write the item that's done before it gets here. That's uh, not true. The clerk does not print anything. Do you want to go back to the days before email? You just quoted that a little bit ago, and you said Frank Food didn't even have email, and they printed everything for him. I is that what you want? I think yes. should save all you did was and all the, you did was all money. you did was complain when that happened. All you did was complain when things were being printed for Mister Fuda. And now you want it done for you. Now you've become nope. that crazy, crazy, crazy. So if, there's a lot more to this job than creating the agenda. Okay. Well, I, because there's a lot of data solutions, I I would propose eliminating the clerk position at this point and having the uh, statutorily the auditor then becomes the clerk. Yeah, um, she's not going to print anything for you either. I, yeah, you think Martha's going to print stuff for you? So we might as well just do that wow. and save money. Uh, wow, that's rich. Can I please? Can we please take uh, the vote for this? So uh, yes. Yes. When these come Mr. over, Mr. Cancel Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. There's, yes. There's nothing that corresponds. Ms. Frenchko. Hold on. He said they're one through ten. Didn't you not just Are hear him say that? Just vote no, Commissioner, if you don't want 10. to. The candidates that were hiring, yes, one through ten. We're asking to be hired. And then that's the order that they're it, it, moving forward. And I've asked this before, and I understand that you guys just do whatever you want and you don't, and you don't listen to anything that I'm asking. I'll say it again, please put the names of the candidates when they're coming over so that we know which ones scored when they're being hired. Cause for all, I don't want know, the names. 
I don't want the names. They're already coming over. You Commissioner can, shouldn't have the names. They already come over. The names are on the agenda, you moron. Why, do you want I don't want to see them beforehand. I don't want to see, see them beforehand. They already are coming over with their names on them. Please identify where they are on Why, the So you can pick and choose who you want to politically. No. Commissioner, if you remember a long time ago, you didn't want the names yes. being no. put on That's there. True. You wanted candidate one it's always you, a moving however target. they were. They're on the agenda. They're already selected. We have to put they them on the agenda when but the we agenda. don't have to you don't have to submit them to us ahead of Thank time. Thank you. So That's since, what we were doing we before. Shouldn't. So since you're already putting them on the agenda, the day that you send them over to the agenda, put their corresponding scoring on them. Which one are they on the on your and, and, I don't and what do you need that for? Yeah. What what exactly do you need? So she that can for? so she can look up people and try to play political games with them. Basically, that's all. If you're concerned about the score, I asked you many years ago. You could come and interview. Have you never taken me up on that? No, if you want to score, we don't need names. Names the day of or names the day before. That's all. She'd rather Lisa go interview him for him and then give her the notes afterward printed. Just press print. That's right. Please go move on. Okay, item 22. I need her vote for item 22. Disgusting. 22, Ms. Frenchko, your vote? Yes. I know. I mean, let's let's just go there. I mean, he protected you. I'm 23. Getting, he protected Alex from getting let's disciplined. Come on, or I'm going to adjourn the meeting. Years. He protected you like to adjourn from the, the we had executive session. I don't, I don't care. We're not going to sit here and have her do this. I know, but we have a pending thing here with a disciplinary thing that we need to address. No, he we can get through this. Protected this employee from getting sure you can allow 23 to, to enter an executive session pursuant to Ohio revised code one, two, one, two, two, G one. He made a motion to adjourn. I'm calling us and I seconded it. Please call the, call the roll. Go ahead and call the roll. Are we going? Are we going to discuss there, Alex? There, there was no. Yes. Well then, I, I. Okay. No, no, we can go in executive session. Oh. That'll shut everything off. I know. I well, move to go. I, stay out here. I, 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 I I'll drop my motion. motion I'll adjourn. drop my motion. Okay. I, I, I rescind my motion. I make a motion to enter into executive session pursuant to Ohio Revised Code, one twenty one dot twenty two G one, to consider the discipline of one TCDJFS public employee. I'll second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? I'm still trying. I would like to look at this one first. That's what executive That's what executive session is for. It's not in your notes. It should be. Is there a packet? We'll be back. If it's sent to you, then it's a public record, which completely is not executive session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to try to discipline it, someone, it sounds like, when John Gargano actually allowed um, uh, that employee who's back there, Alex Steve and Jensi, to make 27 TikTok videos and protected her from uh, discipline because they had already promised her the job. So that's the kind of thing that happens here in uh, Cobble County. Oh.
treated um, his supervisor um, and that an investigation was done by Shelley Blockner, who happens to be the same one who investigated um, Alex. They use certain people in positions to um, uphold disciplines and be punitive or to absolve people of misconduct. And the, the fact that she's involved, it's questionable because I've seen what they do. Um, the other thing is when we have policies, we, you know, we've got office ladies back here who make fun of my physical appearance, refused to work. And the first thing Alex said was, what did you do to provoke that? And all I did was ask for work. So they make excuses for some employees, but for others, they just... discipline them, but for others, they give them passes depending on who they're being nasty toward. Employees shall not make or publicize false statements. Well, that's what um, I know Alex has done. That's what our office staff has done. I mean, how they filed false lawsuits that were found to be just so frivolous that they were just dismissed. They shall not be verbally abusive to coworkers or supervisors. I deal with that every day of my life here. Oh, well, we went over the entire situation. And so it, don't think that I came out how here before they were, we went over all of it, the entire packet. Yeah, and I was never emailed it as it turns out. Oh, yeah, she's she, the associated information never came to me. She had to give me a copy of it because they didn't give it to me. So evidently, uh, and I'm just, Bray, um, this is the first time they ever completely not giving me a file. I think they might have tried to do it before, but they ultimately gave it to me because I came in and put them all on live video. And uh, she has an actual paper file, but she didn't give me anything. And it takes forever to try to correspond the agenda to the items as you can see and that's why i'm doing this because i don't want them to say how easy it is and you can do it really quickly because you can't it's for my agenda workshop like i i yeah and so they're telling me to look everything up online but there's two different systems you have to look up boc you the agenda items as you can see if i if i look up agenda their numbers hang on i'll show you right here um, AG. So if I look up agenda, do you see what it comes up? All of these things come up. I have no idea. Not everyone uses a new system. As you can see, all of this, and they filter in over the course of weeks. So I don't know which things there or things have been updated. Um, Here's a chunk of them that came in through the system. See where it says Trumbull County, no reply? This is the new system, but the numbers there range from 145, 150, 149, all the way clear down to 103 and none of 102. And none of this correlates to the agenda. So if I can't find it there, I'm, I'm, I will 
end up, I would have ended up spending hours trying to find these without the, without um, just trying to find them and then playing match up when we've got all these uh, clerks and staff that are, that are already preparing it, as you heard her say, but she just will not provide it to me. So. And then the other thing is searching by name. You, I don't know which person from each, from each item sent it. <laughs> Make a motion to reconvene from executive session pursuant to Ohio Revised Code 121.22 G1 to consider the discipline of one TCDJFS public employee. It's my motion. A second it. Mr. Cantor Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number 25 is to approve the last chance agreement and ratify the personnel action for a 10 working day suspension without pay of an employee of the Trumbull County Department of Job and Family Services. The employee will serve the suspension from Thursday, April 4th, 2024 to Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. A motion to approve. Second the motion. Discussion. So I would just like to discuss this. We have you know, standards of conduct, um, refraining from abusive. They're saying that this employee violated that because they, they conducted uh, themselves in a way that was disruptive to the work environment, uh, that there is intimidation. Uh, the employees should be courteous, courteous and cooperate with other supervisors, that they should comply with the departments uh, and not to make false, vicious, or malicious statements concerning their the county, the administrators or, uh, administrators or supervisors. Um, and this, in fact, is what happens to in, in the commissioner's office on a regular basis. We have to be equal in our discipline. If we have an employee who, for some reason, uh, refused to do something and they're calling that insubordinate, then for sure, surely, then surely if we have a clerk uh, or other staff who are refusing to do something for a commissioner, then their conduct should be considered for discipline as well. And when you don't do that, it's not equal. And it gives rise to the possibility of other grievances, complaints, and lawsuits. And if we're going to entertain this discipline, then our staff should be looked into as well. Totally disagree. Absolutely nothing that you said has anything to do with what happened with this employee. And you're trying to tie two things together that don't match in any way, shape, or form. Parts of the employee manual that are cited as being the groups of offenses are absolutely the same. Um, I've had um, employees make fun of my physical appearance. Uh, there is a time when I asked someone to do something in the back, and they and the, and the employee actually said, no. So there's a problem with making fun of someone's appearance it's coming from you. Said no. You're really going to go, you're really going to say that. Do it yourself. Everything you just read here could have had your name on top of it instead of the employee. And, and as soon as I brought it up to Alex, Alex says, well, what did you do to provoke? And I said, nothing. I just asked them to simply do something that's in their job description. But they are, they are, they are given passes on a, and all these things are recorded. So it, it's just unacceptable. Um, not to be equal in the administration of discipline in the county. Moreover, the individual who performed the um, the investigation, uh, what was her name, Blouser, she was the same one who performed the investigation on Alex and is extremely politically, I'd say politically with a small p, not party p, uh, bias. Uh, and how she will carry out things in order to discipline some people and to protect others, other people. Because when she made her 27 TikTok videos, she said that, uh, you know, she didn't 
she really didn't see it as all that bad and she believed that she believed what happened when she said she only made nine and that she was coming into work early uh, in order to make those it's just not okay to have um in Question, do you realize you have degraded two women here today in very vile harsh ways and you're the one that claims to be um, do, you, do you hear the way discriminated against because you're a woman you are the one that go after women more than anyone else in this county, more than anyone I've ever seen in my life. Do you think it's okay for them to treat me badly as the? Do you see the way you treat them? Here, here's the difference. Can I, can I can I say what the difference is? The way that he he, he he reacted here, there would be no discipline for this gentleman if he was treated that way by a supervisor first. But he wasn't. If in response to constant abuse, you expect someone to act perfect, I'm sorry. I'm I, I do my best, but I am continuously degraded refused to have people work for me you you heard her she made her own meeting file and didn't make it's one not change. it's Twister, the they gone as far as for the office. you to get you off of their case That's and off of their back they've gone as far as suing you to get you off of their back they had no other recourse they didn't fight with you they didn't argue with you they didn't get physical they used any legal means they could to get you to stop been shoved in the in the hallway i've had someone push a door in on really? have you thrown water on somebody or bad water thrown on you, or take a hammer to this part. Take a hammer to something. No, I've had. Some or try to burn somebody out. It's 150 degrees here, and you left this heater on all all night last week. Could have burned down the meeting. building. Could have burned the building down. We had our meeting here last Wednesday. She left her heater burning all night long. Maintenance came in the next morning and found it hot. That's irresponsibility. This thing has your name on it. You're responsible for it. And you left it on all night long in a public building. Okay. I'm a bully and I'm mean. <laughs> well, that's a lot nicer things than you've said about Alexandra and, and Martha here today. So there you go. You can do it. Here you go again. Miss Frenchko showing her finest side, showing the real Miss Frenchko in all of her glory. All of her glory. Is that your fine side? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be a little bit professional, Miss Francisco. I'm not going to stoop to your low level. I don't lay in the gutter. Mr. Gargano, you had something to say? John Gargano, JFS. I just want to comment on uh, Commissioner Frenchco's statements uh, about the uh, about Mrs. Uh, Bush and the TikTok. That was investigated by two individuals on her complaint. And if I give you the complaint, the complaint is absolutely ridiculous doesn't make it's any not, sense it's not, but it it's was not. investigated she, it was no, investigated by two no. individuals you're being rude commissioner no. can you let him speak no. and uh, no. and a and a we report saw, was given and, I was, and a report was made got the phone and i'm tired of you continuously trying to berate her because she did her Special, job right it, just okay. like you when She's you're special. on your okay, phone that's enough it was on that's her enough. own time so no, it, was, it wasn't on it's it enough was. it, it was it was before wasn't. work no, and during lunch order her wasn't. office order. next to mine she lied in the investigation and said that she only made seven or eight and there were actually 27 well, that's you dishonest. lie all the time that's so nobody dishonest. says anything so about that that shows dishonesty. Dishonesty. Look what you do with social media, Commissioner. It's also it's grounds for d discipline, including termination. But she get, was given a pass for even lying. She was not given a pass. Yes, she was. It was investigated. She lied in and investigation. the information was provided she lied. to you and the commission. She lied in the investigation. No, and she said did. That there well, you do it every week at the commissioner's meeting. 27 times. She made videos. 30 911 calls. Come soon enough. <laughs> So she got three more TikToks less than what you have 911 calls in the last not year. not even won her discipline for lying in investigation because she was protected and promised a damn job. Oh, you know what, Commissioner? That's a complete lie. So you seem to forget that there were five other HR people that were hired that said, nope, I refuse. That's true. Cause they didn't because want they didn't want to work for you. It is true. That's not there public were record. People that were offered not the true. job that refused. I can and give the press the names. And all of them cited, I cannot work with that That's woman. That's not true. Okay. It is true. It's amazing how one person can lie so much. They people, didn't. There were people calling to find out their status on their res on their resumes, and uh, they were denied even the courtesy of a, we're not interested. Right, sir, we, so. It's on tape. It, it, there's meetings. There's public meetings where this is, they've gone over it. Yeah, they've gone over course, the people they've offered the job lie. to and the reasonings, even letters. So, Some of them had letters of why they weren't yes. taking the job and cited your name specifically. Um, yes.
You can't change the past. You can't change the facts. Although you like to, you cannot change the facts. Alexandra, you don't have to respond to anything up here. I just want to know who promised me a job, commissioners. I would like her to answer, who promised me a job? I never met you before in my life until I didn't either. Day. Thank you. So, commissioner, who exactly promised me this job? Your dad got it for oh, you. My dad promised me a job? Dad. Did I work by here with her dad? By working with Frank. Frank, I was Was here Frank here when I was hired? Gone before she got hired. Was Frank you don't here even when know I was hired? What, what's your time? You don't even know the timeline. I and listen in my room because Frank was hard of hearing. Didn't I would just sit and listen to his conversations Good. all day long. Where's Frank? I, where's okay, Frank what a goof. Commissioners, I'm, I'm, I think it's my two minutes. Okay. Again, was Frank here when I was hired? Yes or no? Was not. He said it. Thank all. you. Okay. Commissioners, yeah. another thing too. Angry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, let me just state for the record, commissioners, it's interesting that I was promised a job that nobody can quantify, that nobody here who promised me this job was on the board when I got this job. And la uh, no uh, my one, two minutes. I don't care. Chair, the people on that Chairman. panel did not deem Chairman, you as is it my two minutes? The people on that board. Chairman, is it my two minutes? The people on that board did not deem you as qualified until the point, and he kept on pushing and pushing to have you hired okay. to the point where they brought in Chuck my two minutes and gave him the job to yep. do that. You're cutting into her so, time there. So I don't care. Okay. Anyways, I would like to go back to just, you know, clarifying your lies. That board did not want you hired. On what board? And, the HR that's not true. About that's not your true. people. Your people on that board, Commissioner. I didn't put anyone on your there. people. Oh, yeah, you did. People. Your people. And initially, um, Alexander, initially, I, from what I understand, I, you didn't have your certification yet early yeah. on. I actually there, right? was just going to go there. But if I, can I have my nobody, can I have my two minutes, Commissioner? No, no, no that's not. What no, that's not what happened. Oh, that is that's what happened. Version. That is what happened, Commissioner. And I really am did tired. You, did you vote on this? Vote on what? Vote, did we vote? vote on? Not yet. Okay, so this the, right, call the question because this has nothing to do with the discussion. Can I finish my? No, we're, we're calling the question. No, I didn't. I don't have a vote. I just have you guys have call the vote. Okay, this is uh, I'll be twenty-five. Uh, Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. And because of the inconsistencies and in discipline, and the fact that people who participated in the investigation uh, also were biased from what I've seen in the past, and they're um, not citing Alex for lying in an investigation or disciplining her at all. Um, no, I don't tr I don't trust any investigation where she was a part of it. I wasn't part of the investigation, Commissioner. I, I said the person who said that you did nothing wrong when you lied. Oh, okay. okay. That's your that's your position. All right. So go ahead, go ahead. and then I'll have my two minutes. You do. Well, you guys have to are we done with it? We just, we just, okay. just voted. Are you confused? That ends the regular. Just we just voted. That ends the regular agenda items for today. And now we will take public comments for the good of Trumbull County. Thank you. Alexander, you could be recognized two minutes. I appreciate it. All right, Commissioner. So let's just talk about timeline of history here. When I was promised this job, I didn't even have a master's in public administration. I didn't even have this SHRM certification that I got. I obtained that all on my own dime, working as a full-time employee, as a mother, there as a know. wife. And I did it on my own. And guess what? Nobody qualified. gave me anything. I did that on my own. You were not qualified. You did not have one day of human resources experience. And everyone knows That's that. That's your perspective. There was not one day that you worked in eight. It is the same degree as you. You did, guys both I have, have ooh, I have more certifications than Commissioner Frenchko has. I'm also certified in the labor negotiation process and grievances process. I can give you all of that. Okay. And all of that was obtained, Commissioner. Here's the best part. And I, I'm so glad I get to say this to you now. All of this was obtained because of you, because I wanted to be better than you. Yeah, these allegations are false. I, I never met you until I interviewed you. Agreed. I didn't know anything about anything in the past of who's who and Fun whose dad was who. It had nothing to do. You were hired based on your certain, on your qualifications. No, she was There were two people that interviewed with me. You were heads and tails ready for this job and, and had everything that we were looking for, yeah, that I was looking for. Chuck Light, a recap. Um, there was a Chuck Leitner means nothing with this. Recap. There was recap. Chuck Leitner didn't hire anybody. Recap. He was placed there in order to Not make by the, me. And play, in order to make the recommendation for the hire. Uh, there is a board. There was a panel, yeah. and there there were two. Groups. And Chuck offered there the were, job to five other were, people that two, declined. Before that's right. There Alexander. were two groups of hiring and uh, people calling back for the statuses of their resumes, but they could, I heard. Chuck uh, wanted I, a guy in Canton from what I remember, I, and the guy refused. I heard uh, 
Frank Fuda talking to Chuck uh, about. Frank Fuda wasn't here when yeah. Chuck was here yep. and I was here. Yes, he was. He was not here when I was here when we interviewed Alex and when, when she went through the process. Yes, they, they, it was all. Right. You're changing this the timeline a, now. This is a disgusting waste of time. They reduce the qualifications to walk her into it's position. Just a just disgusting like waste of taxpayer time. And the you should be ashamed of yourself. She, that this is the, what they're the, paying you for the position, to make a show yeah, like the this. position that she had before over there the the qualifications were reduced to walk her into that one as well it's just completely false no, it was admitted but it's easy it's to just say government. things out of thin air and, and, and it makes like no true. sense because there were other people offered the job five of them before she got here five so what did they have some That's big funny. cahoots to go ahead, let's let's interview. Let's offer it to five people. Make them decline, so it looks like we can get our girl in here. Are you are you really? Is there any reality with that? Yeah, she's a six candidate that was offered the Mission. position. Let's move on. It, it's, it's never going to sink in. And one, it's never going to sink in. She's already got this narrative in her head made up that she's convinced herself of. That's completely untrue. Because so I can't do anything about. That. People from that from his agency say that when ahead of, the, of ahead of them getting a promotion, Who? Uh, Who being that? considered for a promotion, it's easy to say that when you don't give the, names. They You're big on names. Why don't you give names? A, uh, you know, the, I've heard that uh, disciplines were slipped in people's files so that they could not be promoted. A discipline will come. Any evidence of any night, of this? Stuck disciplines in people's any files. Any evidence of any of this? Really? You, you want anyone in the world to believe that? It's just, just crazy. automatically slip things and files. Who knows how how the politics? Oh, turn. everyone knows. Everyone. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everyone. Oh my gosh. You, Jeez, oh man. You used to hire people on your own. You you said you, we all did it. We all used to take turns. What are you talking about? Yeah. You got me confused with somebody else. When I first started, and I asked about, no, I, I said board I members. No, board members. Commissioner, when she starts telling a lie, it's really easy for the other ones to just fly out one after another. Oh yeah. Once you start down that path. Okay, anybody else have anything of value for the good of Trumbull County? Tim? Tim Hanna for Trumbull County IT. For the special meeting next week, uh, Tuesday, we have scheduled the Veterans Conference Room over there as an overflow room if you would like to use that. So that's all been arranged. I talked with Herm this morning, so that should be good to go. Okay, we have the public meeting at 1 o'clock next Tuesday. For those of you from Warren Township, brother, concerned people, if you come into the building and we're full here, they'll direct you how to get to the veteran services, or you can go directly there. We'll have TV set up yes. where they can watch the proceedings. There'll be phone. You can you can call in if need be with the public comment. Oh, no, there's there, there'll be no public comment from that room over there. They can't It'll, use their phones to call here? They, they could use their cell phones, correct. 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 But we will be meeting at the table, the hearing room table. And it'll be the three of us, three trustees from Warren Township, and whatever board members from the Parks Board um, will be a joint special meeting. Yes. Actually, Commissioner, can would you be able to use the dais here no. and sit up at the dais now? No, just because there's there's like five board members that may be here, three trustees and the three of us, and to keep it equal and fair, I think we should be around the table for that reason. The commissioner's meeting it should be up here it is a joint meeting between the three entities but and you, it's being advertised you, as such called it and it needs to be okay fine do do what you want to do i i agree with the clerk commissioner you know Lisa, you have a it doesn't matter it doesn't i think matter. it's better if we're around a table together where we can see each other and actually work equally together on this issue i mean i could i can have them set a tape Tables because of recording energy. and such can you explain to her we could be recorded from there just like we are in the workshops correct oh yes yeah definitely just just like the workshops if yeah. if that's the decision that's made yes i'm fine with it whatever's convenient for who for the for everyone for, for everyone whatever. yeah no, we don't need to sit up here on a perch like we're better than any of them. It's going to be an equal meeting. We're going to roll our sleeves up and try to get to a solution for what's in the best interest of the citizens. So I would rather be down there equal with them. And lastly, Commissioner Frenchko, you were given a dongle for to be able to display your laptop on the screens here. I'm going to need that back at the end of the meeting, please. Thank you. Honor Yoder.
Martha Yoder, Trumbull County Auditor. I gave to all of you yesterday or left for all of you yesterday my update. Um, I just have one on the ARPA. I just have one question. Um, we have we have still have a few um, requests that she's working on, but she's kind of really close to the end of those, just kind of working out details with the uh, um, entities involved. And so my question is, um, with regard to, do you want me to send some more? Yes, I'd, I'd like to have at least and, three of them pending right. at any time. Let, let me yeah. go yeah. ahead and give Five. you. Let me go ahead and give you like the next few, and you guys can. I, I you probably don't have your sheets with you. The next one on there, um, on the in the queue is Bristol Township, the ambulance, then the Hubbard Township trustees, which is the ADA compliance on their administration building for their restrooms, Kinsman Playground. Uh, Kinsman Township Generators, Hartford Township Park, and then Hubbard Historical Society, and Johnson Township LED Lighting. I'm do, fine with those. All of those? All, all of those, yes. I will do that then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody else have anything for good at Trumbull County? I've about had enough of today's meeting. I don't know about you guys. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. For Cancel Mesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. 